Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I just did a painting I loved on a 16 by 20 inch canvas that was pre framed black. And I have leftover colors. Beautiful colors. So, rather than waste them, I am probably going to attempt to either use a dry canvas or, in this case, maybe I'm going to use... <clears throat> that was clever of me, huh? I don't think it's going to make any difference. Use a wet canvas. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula. Best flip, best, best flip and fold. Best paint spreading tool I know of. It's uh, called a flip and fold. It's on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is below the link tree. The link tree has all kinds of cool stuff on it. All my Facebook groups are there. You can find PayPal and Patreon if you want to be in the look in the monthly drawing and you make a donation through PayPal or Patreon, you'll be automatically entered. You can see the, the prizes included in the exhibition video that's on the end screen of every video in the last 20 seconds. Also on the link tree, you will find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Pinterest is where I put the videos when I post them. Instagram is where my dailies go when I have them. A couple, couple of days sometimes. Sometimes I skip a day, but most of the time, no. So, I've got most of my canvas covered, as far as I can tell. The light is fading. This has got to be my last painting of the day. I have a nice even layer, and I don't see anything I need to use my pointy tweezers to pull out. I'm going to try not to sweat the edge or worry about it right now. If I were to let this dry, those marks would probably dissipate and, and just disappear because of the flow troll on my mixture. My paint pouring mixture is below the video. That's going in the bucket. This is going to get some more colors in it. Anything that will come out, basically, <laughs> without exploding. Please. I didn't put much turquoise in there the last time, so we'll put a bunch in there this time. Move my torch out of the way. I liked the green last time a lot, so let's do that again. There's never a time I don't like the purple flash from Folk Art, which is color shifting. And the hot orchid is always something that makes me happy. I don't know what I'll do with this after I make the shovels. I'm kind of waiting to see what will happen. I didn't put any black in the last stuff, but I'm going to put it in this. Just basically because I'm working on a white canvas. Alright, so where's my shovel? My shovel is right there. That's a lot of black. So I'm going to try and do it some way I don't usually do it. I want to take that white paint right off of there. I don't have any orange in there and I want some. I want a bunch in fact. And I might take a risk and try and put some of my Venetian blue in there too. It is a risk though because orange and blue are usually classic brown makers. I want to put a bulb of paint up there. want some more magenta and it will be a quinacridone magenta with golden iridescent pearl in it over here. I may tip this, I may not. for my bottles not be in my way when I'm trying to do this. I'm inclined to think I might want to add some other colors and I might might be tipping. I might be tipping now because I have this big ball of paint. And because I've never really let myself do that. And I always wanted to keep enough negative space 
And to do that, you need to stop early on with your additions. I grab an egg catcher. So I have something to drip onto if I want, it to, want to. Let's just see if I can keep giving you a view. I'm not going to mind those drips this time. I'm just going to let them all go. And I've got enough paint left in my container. I've also got skewers. If I want to lead things, I could do that. Including over here, right off that edge. I like my negative space. I am definitely not done with the orange. If you let the paint, if you shove the shovel up to the edge of the canvas and let the paint relax, you will often get something interesting. I kind of want that orange to stay, and I'm not sure how I can do that. If I had tipped the painting far enough, it would have stopped running. But I think everything is going to continue to move for a while yet. Challenging this time. I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and think about this for a moment. Let some paint go over the edge. I could call it good. I really could. I could use my spatula to carve the rest of the paint right out of the shovel and probably also right out of my container I do a few crossovers and I might want a few dots It's different. I dribbled. Now the spatula is a really great tool for doing all kinds of things. Including making freaky textures. And I really think a skewer probably isn't a bad idea either. I'm going to do something with a few of these oddly shaped dribbles. And I might tip one more time or I might not. I think I kind of like this. It's odd, but odd is good. Or so people keep telling me. It's got some organic strangeness to it. I think this paint right here needs to go and fill that corner in. Hopefully you can see that. I just use the rest of my paint right there to do the sim do a similar thing. Fill in, fill in along the bottom edge. And I have officially used all my paint. And now if I want more paint, I'll just grab it out of a bottle. This was a painty day. I've got paint all over my Lolofi silicone mat from dribbles. So, do I put white in? Do I put black in? Do I put orange in? What do I do? Do I do nothing? Do I torch? Do I spiral? I think spirals are always in order. You just have to be a lot cautious about where they go. 
I don't think I need lots of them. I do want a torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm also definitely thinking about some Venetian blue, but I'm not sure I can keep it because it sinks, which means I want to grab a straw. And make an attempt to blow it out. And I like the solid color there. There we go. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm almost done and I should tell you guys what I need to tell you, which I've told you some of already. My email address, should you be interested in purchasing an artwork, is below the link tree. And I also give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I want that open. <laughs> I imagine it was going to be open twice because it was open before this, but it's not. I want to add a couple of things and one of them might be some green gold. I'm a little irritated that that purple already seized up because it doesn't need to. I do want to torch because I did spread the paint. Yeah, I think I'd like some green gold and I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Did I set a timer? I have four minutes left. That's cool. Because this is really different. Not as sure about that as I want to be. Let's blow it out and see what happens. Maybe it just needs some turquoise down there too. I think there's enough pattern going on here, so I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think I should add too much more, although the pink orchid from Color Art that's a prism pour is calling me. And I know that it, I'm not sure I can say it dendrites. But it definitely spreads out and stains things. Let's try a... Uh... A skewer. That's better. I kind of like that. That's a good addition for me. What else do I want to do? Maybe I don't want to do what I just did. Actually, I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I could use some yellow too. Just something to draw the eye around a little bit. If they're plants, I'm not sure what they are or what planet they're from. I have no idea really. I do want to keep playing though. Not sure <laughs> what I'm doing. I want to make it feel a little more cohesive.
like something instead of blobs. That's a lot better, I think. That's kind of cool. I, the weirder it gets, the more I like it. I say that now. That's good. I'm not so sure about the hot orchid right over here. But maybe if I break it up a little bit. I need a paintball on the end of a skewer. And it's not like I'm shortchanged on them. Okay. Does okay mean anything right now? Not really. <laughs> I'm just going to use my orange dots to add some more orange dots. I'm going to tell you guys thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the love and the compliments and the comments that help keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate those too. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the green gold. Every time I add some, I'm a little freaked out. White is fun to draw through. You can definitely add some texture. So much so that I'm kind of thinking the timer's going to go off before I'm done. I love you guys. There's over 91,000 of you. Check the uh, end screen video for this month's exhibition that will share with you what the drawing prizes are. I do a drawing at the end of every month, and if you're a contributor through PayPal or Patreon, you'll be automatically included. You can find the PayPal and Patreon on my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right-hand corner, the icons, or you can find the links under the link tree that's underneath the video, along with my paint pouring recipe. If you open Show More, you'll find my Amazon link on that link tree also. There, I like those, and I'm liking this more by the moment. I just had to give myself permission, and I was feeling like I shouldn't do much of anything for a minute, so I'm going to turn that around so you guys can see it, and maybe blow out that blue a little bit, because I love those little cells. I hope I didn't hurt anything, but... blowing out the purple, but it is what it is. I'm going to try and zoom in. The only thing I can't really rationalize is that right there, and I'm going to fix it as best I can. I'm going to see what you can see and try and give you a better view of some of, some of the close-up things. Not sure about that spot there, but it might also be the thing that's making it interesting too. That spot right Probably looks like something to someone. I'm just not aware of what it looks like yet. All right, pretty good for leftovers. I like it. It's kind of weird. So am I. I don't care. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Springville, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, reminding you I have over 1,800 videos on 18 lists of 100 each and t by topic and genre. And if you have questions for me, feel free to ask me. When you shop my Amazon link on the link tree, you help me out. And my two books are there called Because I Can and Unlimited, Possibility, uh, Unlimited Possibilities. And you can find tomorrow's video on the community board if you look for it and find